Hey everybody, it's your resident psychotherapist Tom Stevens here to remind you of one of the main points we talk about in life. Balance keeps me stable. Our good friends at HelloFresh have sent us exactly what we need from the farm to me in under a week. We're going to look at the food, we're going to cook the food, we're going to eat the food together, so let's go do it. Today's meal is going to be meatloaf a la mom with potato wedges, green beans, and gravy. It's got all the directions on here. Cooks to two people or four people. All of the ingredients came packed so amazingly well and fresh, cold when it got here. And I cannot believe what a time saver this is. This is exactly what I needed. So we're going to get in to making the ingredients. Let's do this. Here it is, the dinner is ready. Nick, can you believe they have over 30 recipes and 70 convenience items to choose from? Whether you have a picky eater, you have children, any type of eater in your house, HelloFresh has so much variety and so fresh and they get it to you so quickly, it doesn't even matter where you are. You're on vacation, you're at a friend's house, you wanna order something, get it quick, get it fresh, this is the place to do it. What else could you ask for for dinner? Well, you know what? They don't just have dinner. They have our favorite meal of the day. They have breakfast, too. Breakfast, too. Oh. It's my favorite. I cannot believe they serve breakfast. Well, this looks amazing. Let's dig in. That's really good. I'm really loving that. You know one of my favorite meals growing up? What? Meatloaf. This is just like mom used to make. I cannot believe how amazing this tastes and how easy it was to make and put together. Yeah. It's quick, it's convenient, they have all the ingredients in there. And I'm gonna tell you something. You want a special deal? We've got one for you. Go to HelloFresh.com, use promo code REACTIONTHERAPY65 and you get 65% off your order and even Free shipping too. Free shipping with it. How do you not pass that up? I've got to go do that myself. Yeah. But don't forget, <laughs> you want a special deal? Go to HelloFresh.com, use promo code REACTIONTHERAPY65, you get 65% off your order and... Free shipping. Free shipping. You cannot beat that. Yep. Let's finish our meal. Let's do it. Cheers. Everybody and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm your resident psychotherapist Tom Stevens here to break down lyrics to some awesome music and today is guaranteed awesome because we're going to check out Suicide Boys off their latest album In Constant Sorrow is the name of the song. You know I'm a huge fan. I have grown to love them more and more especially as their mental health focus has turned the corner. You know our mission and our passion to spread mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics. We are grateful to you every day that you would help be a part of Reaction Therapy and that cause, and I can't wait to dive in. If you want more of what we do, go to Patreon or go to YouTube for memberships. I'm telling you, there's more out there, content, private live streams, so much more. But without further ado, let's get into Suicide Boys in Constant Sorrow. Kind of makes me sad. How do they do this? Whole different vibe here all of a sudden. The beat drops and they're just setting it up. They're just setting it up. It's like bait dangling in the water. And I'm feeling they're going to be talking about like depressing lyrics, but it ain't going to get me down. I love the old vintage movie style videos that they do 
of just old school stuff. Oh, oh, come on, come on. We're just going over. Wind it up. Did he say what I think he said? Just getting into it. The drugs, the abuse of substance, women, just not able to stop. One day I'll be ready to gather my bones. It just doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound healthy, does it? Look, we talk about it. Balance keeps me stable. Get good rest, right? Get some exercise, movement. Just get out. Eat balanced. We talked about that. Hello, fresh. Order your food like I'm doing so I can know the meal's ready. I don't have to worry about going and hitting fast food all the time. I don't have to eat it all hours. I'm eating healthy food now. Go do that because otherwise we end up in spots like this where we're just all around women and drugs and partying. And oh man, don't dig up the bones. Look, I'm hoping there's a turn to this story here. Just putting stuff up to, alone, putting it up your nose. Yep. 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 Oh, goodness. Just stop right here. Uh, there's got to be some relationship issues going on here. You know, the battle, the, the conflict with either a person in a relationship, family, something's going on where it's like, man, people keep messing with me. Keep manipulating. I'm so tired of thinking I'm not enough. This is the mental health turn that I think they've made into, I'm tired of being miserable. It's like they say in 12 step programs, you know, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Like I, I just want to do something else. I want to live for something else. I want to have purpose. I want to have meaning. And I think what they've done is show people who really love them and follow them that life is worth living, that you can do something with your life and you can do something with your life just by finding purpose. If you don't have it, that's okay. You can find it. But you're not going to find it on your own. And I think that's what they would say. You need to get help because a person, especially a mental health person, can help you find that purpose and can help you find that, that kind of path to go on to live a happier life. Today was what it was. Tomorrow can be better. But only if we make choices and live in a certain direction to make it that way. What life's all about. It's being able to have joy and hope and possibility, and relationship with people. And I think they sing about it all the time, but I'm so tired of thinking I'm not enough. What a great line. Oh man, here he's getting straight into it. It's hard for me to tell sometimes who's who. Scrim and Ruby. Mm. Look, people I call my friends, fam. Who are they really, y'all? <laughs> Why? People try to take this man. Break your feet, 
call my friends. Where? People I like, call my fam, goddamn, speed down my style for fix. Right now, I don't wanna hear shit. Wait, what? Oh, take off, I'll cut the dope off, living too quick with those kids. I've been dreaming of a reason not to pay the fucking solution. But my brain's about pain, that's just how the fuck I'm feeling. No. No. Not good. Remember, this part's not good. Fuck the dope off, living too quick with those kids. I've been dreaming of a reason not to pay the fucking solution. But my brain's about pain, that's just how the fuck I'm feeling. I've been feeling worthless since this guy didn't really work a part. I'm searching for a purpose. Yes, me me. Meet me at my service. What would that be? Like, is that like the funeral? Or is that some kind of a good service? But boy, they're speaking facts when it's like, sometimes it feels so hopeless. I feel so desperate. It's like, what's the point? I've just been thinking about just not even like going through it anymore. But there is a point. And clearly there's a point because Scrim and Ruby would say that. Like, there is a point. Just because I feel that way. Remember, grant in fantasy what you can't grant in reality. Like, realizing this is the way I feel, but not necessarily the way I'm going to act it out, is healthy. Like, writing it out, screaming it out, singing it out, performing it out like they're doing, journaling, seeing a mental health professional to talk it out. Those are all healthy ways, working out in a gym to get out what's inside so you don't carry around the toxic garbage inside anymore. Learn to get that out. Okay, I don't want you wallowing in it day after day because that's just gonna keep you kind of circling the drain of misery and of anxiety and of depression. I want you to be able to shred it out like a shredder so it actually goes away. You get rid of those toxic feelings. Let them go somewhere. And sometimes it takes somebody to help you actually get there, whether it's treatment, therapy, mentoring, support groups, any of that. I don't leave here, you know. Break yourself, hit the floor. I've been going outside for years. I have a job over the phone. I you got to tell me what this is from. Like, what is this a clip from an old movie or an old show? I can't figure it out. I have a job over the phone. I tell people with the computers. Order anything I want on the internet. Got TV. That's not a bad life. It's not a bad life. Suicide boys and constant sorrow. What I love most about them, honestly, is the fact that they put it all out there. Even when they're getting healthier, they put the truth out. I've been there. I know what it's like. I'll tell you what it's like. And I'll tell you how I don't want to be. Like, I might feel this way, but I don't like the way I feel this way. I'm tired of feeling this way. I want to feel different than this. And they sing through all of that, like opening a journal. It's beautiful. I love that. And I do love their voices, the way that they rap, the way that they sing, the way that it is the only, they're the only ones that do it this way. They're unmatched. It's incredible. But remember, life's worth living. Any problem today is solvable, is fixable, is workable. It might take time. It might be hard. But it's going to take help. And getting help is the first step. Even if you've had bad help before, that you keep looking for help, whether it's movement, exercise, journaling, talking to somebody, getting a professional, having a support group, a mentor, people that you can get this stuff out, writing it out, singing it out, like I said. They have crash rooms now for therapy where you can go smash things and, and just break things to be able to get the intensity. It's getting this toxicity out. You can do it, and you actually can start on the path to healthy, productive, hopeful living. It is possible. I promise you that. But remember, this isn't real therapy. Just Tom breaking down lyrics to music. If you want professional help, check the link in the description of this video. 
because there is help out there and you deserve that too. Go to our Discord server where there's over 2,800 people chatting it up right now about mental health, suicide boys, reaction therapy, and so much more. And if you want more reaction therapy, go to our Patreon page, go to YouTube for memberships. I'm telling you, there's more content out there. Please give us your comments, feedback, insight. Let us know what you think about this. And thank you so much for being a part of Reaction Therapy. I can't wait to see you on the next Reaction Therapy. <music>